Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Ask Anastasia. In this channel, if you're first time here, I'm trying to talk about real estate investing, about uh, holding the properties and getting passive income. So if you like this kind of um, content, please subscribe. And if you like the video, please like it. I really appreciate your help. So um, in this video, I want to talk about, uh, I believe, success, kind of. Because I turn a guy who um, has been a flipper for the last two, three years here in Cincinnati area. And uh, he got his first property that he decided to hold. And I'm very happy for his success. And I just want to give you numbers so you're going to decide for yourself. Is it better to buy property and hold it? and have some passive income or it's better to flip it's obvious that every scenario is different but let's just look in the number so he purchased a property for forty thousand dollars it's in a not very great neighborhood but um uh, you can easily rent there you know so he purchased the house for forty thousand he spent thirty thousand rehab in it and rehab it's uh to bring property back to the livable condition so he spent together seventy thousand dollars he's working on a property himself it's very important so you have to understand that you cannot just um don't do nothing and just make money you have to put your sweat into it you know and he was hiring he has two or three people who are working with him too so his total cost was $70,000. So when he appraised property, appraisal came up with $430,000. So you have to realize 130 minus 70, it's $50,000, which he can make. It's, it took him, I believe, three months to do this. So he can... You know, he can make this $50,000, but you have to realize that when you're putting property for sale, from this $130,000, assuming that you're going to get full price offer, you have to pay uh, about 6000 commission, real estate commission. Here it's uh, 4 to 6% in different areas, it's maybe different. And then you have to deduct how much money you put into it. So... We are, uh, if he sold for 130 minus 6,000 real estate commission minus 70,000 that he put into the deal, he would have 55,000 profit. But please do not forget that this consider capital gain and you need to pay tax on it. I'm not, I'm not a tax advisor, you know, so do your own research. But from my knowledge, it's usually 25 to 30 percent that you have to pay on capital gain. And this comes to $15,000. So after everything is done, he would pocket $40,000, which is great. I, I understand this, you know, so many of us working and making 30 to 40,000 per year and make this money in three months, it's incredible. But when I approach him and it's not like I'm pushing him for something I just want to show him different side you know of what can be done so what's happened um, I suggested to use a lender that I was using it and he's doing loans in many different states and again if somebody is interesting leave a comment below I'm gonna share his information he's a great guy so he went to this guy and he, this David, his name is David, he specialized in loans for the real estate investors. So he's not looking into your taxes. All what he cares is that property has equity on it and that your credit is decent. Decent, I'm not telling that you should have 720 or higher, but obviously the better your score, the lower interest rate you're going to get. So he, this guy, he turned to the David and he got a loan and he got a loan for 104 
thousand dollars. So what happened? You remember he put seventy thousand, right? He got a loan for hundred and four. So he got all his money out, and he got thirty four thousand out of the deal. You remember when if he would sell the house, he would have about forty. Right now, in the case that we are looking, if he decides to hold the property, it's called cash out refinancing. So he, to do this refinancing, it needs to be two conditions. First, property needs to be appraised. And second, property needs to be rented. So what my guy did, my friend did, um, he rent this property. It's it's a six bedroom house. It could be a duplex, but he decided to keep it as a single family. And 600 bedroom, um, six bedroom house was rented to section eight tenants for $1,600 per month. And what does it mean to be rented to section eight tenants? It means that we, not we, he's getting paid every month, money getting deposited to his bank account every month. It's, um, it's, it has some problems, like you need to pass the inspection, you need, you know, you need to do with some paperwork, but this money is guaranteed. So from this $1,600, I'm giving you all the expenses. He's paying management fee and it's 10%, it's $160. Then he's paying for the water. Landlord is paying for the water. It's about, it's from 100 to 150. I put 150. And his mortgage payment, which you remember he pulled out 100,000. His total for mortgage, taxes, and insurance on the property come down to $800 per month. So if you deduct this maintenance fee, water, mortgage, taxes, insurance, he still have $500 cash flow coming to him every month. It's maybe it's not a lot of money for some of you, but just think about it. It's about $6,000 per year. And he already got all his money that he put into the deal. And he got 30,000 extra money to go for him and look in the different deals. He got all this and he add first property into his passive income portfolio. So that's what I'm talking all the time that, I mean, I know so many people who make great money in flips, but you know, you make a flip, you take the money and you go and you work again and you work again and you work again. I don't know about you, but I don't enjoy doing rehab, you know, and it depends on your age and health condition. Maybe you cannot even do it. So I, it, it's just my point of view. So I, I just want to show what can be done, you know, if you look and think differently and um, it, it's so many different websites where you can, if you're tired of rental business, um, you can, you know, just sell to somebody else who can, who wants to get into the rental business. We were talking about this roofstocks.com website. I'm looking into it right now. And um, I just want to share another news with you. I got my real estate license here in Ohio. And... Um, I was not sure why I even doing it, you know, but right now I make a decision that my goal for the next five years, uh, it's going to be to help 100 women to get their first house. I will not discriminate against men, but I just found from my experience that there's so many women who doesn't know that they can afford to buy a house, that this dream of owning your own house, even right now when prices, prices are going up, it's very achievable. I just want to show to the woman that, you know, you, you can achieve success. Somebody did this for me a long time ago, so I want just to pass it on. I, so far, I'm I just looking through my client list, I helped four. 
so I still have 96 to go. So if you're living in Cincinnati area, if you want to buy your first home and you don't know where to start, please leave me a comment below. I would contact you, I would help you all the way through obtaining the loan to closing on your first house. And I hope we can do this together. Thank you and have a great day.